If you're getting abused in your relationship, these guys advise for you to just endure it. So there are these three Catholic men that are on the panel and they get asked by Destiny's wife, if someone were to be in an abusive relationship, what do you think that person should do? Should they, um, I don't know, leave? And to my surprise, the conversation that is had after that question is asked, I, I the only way I could describe it is uh, unhinged. And goes into a marriage and has kids when they're like 18, 19, 20. And then um, a year into the relationship, it gets really, really abusive. From who? Would you, from both. This is so a, rare. Anyone, it's anyone so really. Rare. Go on, it happens. go on. Just, go on. My, my it, point is, I'm just, yeah. Even though it might be rare from what you guys think. It is. Uh, Okay, so just right off the bat, I got extremely annoyed because dumb boys over there is acting like abuse in a relationship is like some lunar eclipse. Like, did you hear that guy say? It is. Like, I, right, bruh. Okay, you got it, gang. Uh, you, you, you want the last word so bad, bruh. Okay, you win. If it would happen, what would you recommend for those people to do? Would they divorce or do you want them to keep going in the relationship? Keep going. You can't divorce. I mean, that's not a real thing. Uh, you can like separate. See, his Catholic background shines through. He knows. Yeah, you, can't divorce. <laughs> you, can, you can separate, but you can't actually divorce. That's not a real thing. Even though it might be like physically it, abusive. Because you got to endure. People are too. You want to stick in people relationship? People are just. See, I mean, look, people I'm, nowadays I'm be honest. are just. Everybody quits everybody gives up it's too hard i'm this xyz this is why i'm special so i can fuck up this entire situation based upon me being special all right the first thing i want to address is that guy over there saying that divorce isn't real and is basically just an, just a figment of our imagination I'm, I'm sorry that i had to be that guy to break it to him but uh buddy uh ho hopefully you're sitting down when i when i break this to you uh divorce divorce is a real thing that's that's an actual thing. That's not that's not like a fairy tale or anything. It's not something that happens in kids' books. Nope, it's it's a real thing. If you don't believe me, the next time you get up on that podcast, go ahead and ask those girls on that panel uh, if, if their parents are divorced or not. I promise you, there's gonna be a good amount of girls that say yes, their parents are divorced. So yeah, I don't know what he's on and about, man. He's acting like divorce is like some Chris Angel, David Blaine magic trick. Like, no. But let's go ahead and move on from that and talk about how that man over there is advocating for people who are in abusive relationships to just endure it. That was such a layer bubble question asked to him. It was literally handed to him on a silver platter for him to just yam it in. But no, no, my man decided to just go ahead and just fumble the bag. I have never seen a layup that terribly missed since Brandon Knight. Like, what are you talking about, man? Like, I honestly, this is this, this my personal opinion. I think the person that is being abused in the relationship, I don't I don't think they necessarily care that they ruined the relationship. Like me personally, I I honestly think that the relationship got ruined the second it got abusive. But that's just me though. Like how did you turn this into, oh my gosh, everybody think they're the main character nowadays. We are surrounded by snowflakes. What happened to the generation where you could abuse your wife, give her a couple knuckle sandwiches and she wouldn't leave? Nowadays, everybody's leaving after the first knuckle sandwich, man. Like I can't take this generation any more we are surrounded by softies man i just wish one day we could go back to that golden era i'm gonna say it right now hot take um i i think there are just some people in the world that don't need to be behind a microphone just so we could avoid moments like this because it gets worse ladies and gentlemen and the reality is people just haven't learned to endure there have been hard times in relationship i'm sure you guys had hard times in relationship any relationship has hard times okay. and it is what it is you need to push through and you need to endure because we're in this abused? hold on because what we're in this situation now like where everybody's just creating this like super nuanced like one percent example of like well what if the kid's transgender black and abused and he's a black lives matter supporter like cool okay yeah. <laughs> i get like that one Minute no, but I'm asking situation. for anyone that might be in that situation. What would you recommend? Okay, you endure. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Endure. I'll tell you what I would do. And another thing that really grinded my gears when that man said, "You've you've been through a few rough patches in your relationship, right? You've had some tough times in your relationships, correct? Like, buddy, abuse does not fall under that umbrella." 
at all. Abuse is literally on a class of its own. Well, actually, now that I think about it, it, it actually does have a class that it, it perfectly fits into, and that is crime. Like, what are we talking about, man? Abuse is just not a rough patch of a again man we gotta start doing background checks on these people that buy those microphones man okay, endure. I'll, tell you what, I'll tell you what endure. i'll tell you what i don't that's i'll tell you what endure just, i'll tell okay. you what i would do mm -hmm. if if my daughter was in a relationship with a guy and she gets married to him and he starts abusing her a Kill year into it I, I'm, I'm gonna be showing up on their doorstep and teaching him some lessons exactly. that's that's what i would do i okay, also would but, not um, if 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 i didn't have the you know capacity to do that for some reason i don't know i wouldn't want my daughter in that situation quite frankly and yeah. i understand the argument to endure because oh that's interesting you wouldn't want your daughter to be in an abusive relationship shoot the guy over there in the middle that's over there screaming uh divorce is fake news even said kill him you you guys are saying you don't want your daughter to be in that type of predicament but for the people that you really don't care dearly about you want them to just go ahead and chug a chug a choo choo through all of them knuckle sandwiches to get handed like the hypocrisy man like at least stand on your 10. Uh, I, I always say it stand on your 10. i have people close to me who grew up in abusive households and it lasted for periods of time and it was a phase and they endured through it and they ended up raising healthy successful families oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh uh, abuse 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 is not a phase abuse is not just a speed bump in a relationship okay abuse is more of a big brick wall in a relationship that man is really saying abuse in a relationship is on par with when a teenager is going through their goth stage yes ladies and gentlemen blasting paramore and my chemical romance is the exact equivalent to abuse in a relationship to an extent so I mean, you they would the say that families. to stick in those relationships that might be abusive to everyone involved and a child if there's a child i'm not involved. saying like Ooh, hey stick in the extreme. relationship and get the shit beat yeah. out of you by your husband i'm not I'm just, guys, I'm just asking you what you believe. I'm, I'm just telling you. I, 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 Even I'm if not it's a small you. extreme thing, I'm just asking you what you think if you just stick in that relationship or not. It's 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 such it is such an extreme example that I can't give a prescription for what other people should do. There is there is an element. Okay, so this is when I started getting even more aggy because again, abuse is not that rare like, like it, it is not like making it to the nba like yes you've probably seen the stat go around when a bunch of people talked about this a uh, discussion where it said 20 percent. yeah compared to a lot of things that could be called as rare but in the grand scheme of things 20 percent is a lot that's not rare like the question that was thrown to you guys is not this extreme scenario that needs this well thought out answer no the answer is clear cut and dry it is black and why tell those folks tell those people that are in abusive relationships hey i think you could do better um i highly suggest that you get about that situation you're in man you you do not deserve to be treated like dirt that's it i came up with that off the fly i didn't script nothing just tell them to get out of it that's it genuinely if if you touch grass if you go outside and touch grass and have a decent social life right if you talk to people i promise you the people that you talk to a good chunk of them either know somebody they are they're either the ones in an abusive relationship or or they know someone that's in a currently in an abusive relationship i i know a couple you you watching this you probably know a couple the people on that panel probably know a couple so how in the hell is that rare so please can you just stop trying to push this notion that abuse in a relationship is like is, is equivalent to getting hit with lightning or winning the lottery when that's not the case at all like that do you have opinions about third trimester abortion it's yes. terrible Listen, it, it's okay, terrible okay, okay. look at how quickly you can do it do you know how terrible. rare third trimester abortions are they're also really they rare, are. but you immediately had a visceral reaction to that yeah. right there are households where parents are abusive to children like that's not like an unfathomable thing, but for you to have that immediate visceral reaction to a type of abortion that's so incredibly rare. But yeah, then when but it's I like, mean, we're well, talking about like a guy like getting drunk and like you know beating it, be beating his wife occasionally you. versus like. See now that's what happens when you're not on your p's and q's while you're in a debate that features Destiny because he gonna get you. He he gonna get you now. Great point by Destiny. It's crazy that they had that immediate response 
to, to that scenario that is quite frankly an, an actual rare occurrence. Like that kind of tells you a lot about the people that are on that panel. Oh, and I also like how he tried to rebuttal to that by saying, whoa, whoa, but there is a difference between that and you know, some, some man coming home drunk at 3 a.m. in the morning and hitting his wife. Like those are two different scenarios. I don't care if he's drunk or sober. Can we not minimize abuse? Abuse is abuse. It don't, it don't matter what sobriety state you're in or whatever the scenario is, abuse is abuse. But, uh, well, okay, so, 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 so yeah. let, let me ask you guys, in the Catholic Church, I know that there's like annulments for marriages and stuff. Are there that no- That was a mistake. Are there no exceptions for like, if a guy is beating his wife constantly? No, there are, but now- Or a uh, woman could as well, right? Hold on, hold on. Well, there's yeah. also yes, a distinction could, drawn between- If a, a woman's beating a dude, that Hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. Come on, man, how old are we? How old are we? Did you guys hear Sal if he went on a Steven Crowder rabbit hole about to go on a whole tangent on if you if you get abused by your woman and you're a man? Oh my goodness, you are such a wuss. You are a big baby. Like that's still a thing, you guys. Like we still had that same prehistoric mindset that men can get abused too. He wanted so hard to put down the guys that go through that type of traumatic experience where they're in a relationship and they're getting abused by their significant other. He wanted so hard to put those people down just for the sake of uplifting his ego. You're lucky your man saved you and he didn't let you finish that sentence, man. Just disgusting, man. Just pure filth. They are extreme. Oh, I, I, agree, another, I agree with that. I want to ask but, like one okay. more scenario, okay? Please. Oh, what about if... Uh, Did y'all hear one of the guys say Jesus under his breath? Hey, for whoever said Jesus under their breath, it, it didn't have to reach this point. It didn't have to become a whole thing. The only reason why it got to this point was because of y'all not literally giving a, the clear cut correct answer to the question she gave y'all. Like, why are you getting your pennies in a bunch? This this right here was self-inflicted. You caused this, you did this to yourself. It didn't have to reach this point. Two people sorry, get married sorry, to have a kid and then the wife starts cheating. Do you think they should divorce? Absolutely. They should yeah. divorce them? <laughs> Jesus himself you don't said. Think it wasn't Jesus, hold on, hold on. Jesus himself said. And you could like said, work things through, right? Jesus himself said in, in cases of adultery, divorce is so permissible. So you think the divorce is worse than physical abuse? No. For the children? For cheating, sorry. You think that cheating is worse than physical abuse? abuse. For the sorry. children, yes. There we go again. Another fast response to a scenario. Oh yeah. Why, why would you want to stay married to a tramp? A swoozy? Why, why would you want to do such a thing? Oh, ew. God. Crucify. Get, get her on the cross and crucify her. There ain't no way you guys genuinely think that kids experiencing an abusive relationship is less harmful than cheating. If you ask people that grew up in that environment, I promise you, I will put my life on it. 20 times out of 10, they would take their parents cheating rather than them abusing their the, their, their other parent. Like, are you kidding me? It, it, it was at that point I knew that them boys were gonna die on that hill. It, 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 it doesn't matter how great of an argument you construct for them, they go down that they, they, they're not moving off they pivot they, they're not shifting their opinion on the topic and it was at that point i was like i can't i can't digest any more of this garbage man i i gotta i gotta shut this off okay so to wrap up this video um for the people out there that might be in an abusive relationship um what i gotta say to you guys my, my word of advice is uh to stop being such a snowflake, all right? Like, you catch a couple haymakers and now all of a sudden you wanna dip out and leave? What? What is wrong with you? You better go back in, you better march your butt back in there and weather that storm. You heard what they said? This storm is temporary. It, it, it'll go away soon enough. Okay, you guys, I'm obviously joking. To be serious, if you're in an abusive relationship, leave, all right? You, you do not deserve to be treated like that and you deserve to find someone that will treat you with the utmost respect and not put you down. Cause I have to live this life Music blow my line Too sick What?